She's down. It's necrotics, it's dying. <sighs> it's not dead. Yeah. This is a pecking injury. Pecking. And that's probably pecking as well. Oh, birds, man. They're all getting up now. Four thousand birds in here. In this room here. Yeah. yeah. It's just on this side. On this, no, just this building. There's another four in there. Oh. Okay, so here we are in a factory farm full of turkeys here in the UK. This is a pretty stock standard factory farm for turkeys, and 90% of the turkey people eat come out of places like this. So if you can look around, you can just see anemic birds quite dirty, there's feces all over the floor. It stinks horribly in here. Also, the, the, these water, where they're getting the water from here, uh, it's dripping down onto the floor, so it's creating you know, wet feces on the floor. And because there's no space in here, the birds have no option but to lie on the wet feces. It's just, they're just gonna get infections and you know, you can imagine these places here just breeding grounds for disease. You know, and there's a lot of talk about pandemics and, you know, like places like this, just breeding grounds for it. These birds are near on full size. I think they'll be killed in about 20 weeks. There's 4,000 birds in here, so it's insane. And this is just one side of the shed. On the other side of the shed is another 4,000. It's a horrible place in here. Uh, you've seen recently that I was in a, a smaller scale place, a free range place, and that's where tinsel come from. I wanted to show you exactly where the majority, statistically the majority of turkey flesh is coming from. So when you sit down to your Christmas roast, more than likely it's out of a place like this. So the birds have infections, they've been pecking each other. Um, because there's so many birds in here, they can't form their social hierarchies. They just... This... It's just... See here on the end of the snood here? Infected. So they just peck each other in their feather pecking and they're just covered in, in their own excrement. It's horrible. It's really anemic in here, aren't they? Yeah. They have no colour. Yeah. And usually a turkey will have colour they'll be presenting. Do you say this is like a red tractor farm or? Oh yeah. This is a red tractor farm. So that just gives you an idea of what they pass for red tractor in this country. And people see that label and they think, oh, well, you know, British grown turkey and red tractor approved, but this is, this is what a red tractor factory farm looks like. Absolutely disgusting, it's just disgraceful. Yeah, so all the turkeys will have their beaks cut off when they're younger to stop them from injuring themselves when they're pecking around, but they still seem to, you know, peck each other and injure them other birds, so, but that's, they usually have a longer, more pointy beak. And that gets cut off. And same with tinsel the other day, hers was cut off. So this is like, 
This here will be like a barn white, like the, it's, it's predominantly, they, they grow a lot faster and um, they're double the size they usually would be in, like, an, like a wild turkey usually would be. Um, they're just, it's just a, it's just horrible in here. Generally because turkeys have been bred to be double their size, they physically can't mate. So what they do to breed them is they actually use the AI method. So they hold the turkey upside down and they, you know, violate the turkey to remove the semen and inject it into the female. It's a really horrible, distressing procedure. And this is how they breed the turkeys artificially predominantly. Um, so they live their entire lives in places like this and then they go to the slaughterhouse. So they'll be picked up, thrown in a crate and taken about three hours in a truck to go get gas chambered. The main method of killing for turkeys in the UK is through the gas chamber. The others might be electrically bathed and have their throat slit. Um, on small scale of farms, there might be a killing cone. Well, because there's so many of them in this barn, it's hard for them to like recognize everyone. There's just so many different faces like you know, there's thousands in here. There's just no way for these birds to live. This is a pecking injury. Um, okay. So when you see pecking in injuries on this farm here from the birds pecking each other, the way they treat that is with a captive bolt pistol to the head. So they'll just shoot them in the head. And over there is a little dead room um, where they throw all the dead into the dead room and they get cleared out. So. They're probably terrified of people, eh? Like, I don't blame them, obviously. Because farmers are constantly picking them up and bolt gunning them in their head and throwing them in a dead pile. When I took Tinsel, the turkey, and uh, spent some time with her, I realised how much of an individual she was. And in this shed here, all I see is different individuals, you know, the, they all have their own personality and they just can't express their natural behaviour in here. Like, it's just like a, a hellhole. Like, they must be going insane in here. Um, and that's all they've ever known. Like, they're, they're such beautiful animals, turkeys. They're like one of my favourite animals now after spending time with, with tinsel. I've always loved turkeys, but now I understand them even more. And uh, this place is just... There's just no way to treat anyone. There's no way to treat any animal. It's just... It's horrible. And just for... Like, the, in the name of tradition, like, this is what I don't get, like, there's 15 million turkeys killed a year in, in the UK and 10 million of them are killed around Christmas time, which is just horrible. I'm just going to get down here, a little bit lower. There's just no way to treat anyone, there's no way to treat any animal. They must be going insane in here. In the name of tradition. This is what I don't get. As you can see here, on this turkey's throat here, there's a there's like an injury. Looks like an infection here. So they're just living on their own excrement. Like if you can see this dip here, this is the ground level, this dip. Yeah. That's the original ground level here, this dip. And up here, this mound here is just excrement. That's how much excrement is left on the ground here. So this whole shed full of innocent beings covered in infections, living on their own feces. Does this really embody the spirit of Christmas? This is what I want to ask you and your family before you sit down and dine on the bodies of these birds. They lived a life of suffering so you could celebrate your Christmas tradition when you can easily, you can easily choose something that doesn't involve this suffering, that doesn't involve the exploitation and the killing of these amazing creatures. I mean, if you saw the tinsel video, you've seen how amazing tinsel is. All these birds have their own personalities and it's just unjustifiable to do this to them for a supper for a, a dinner for you know a 30 minute meal with your family and it's it, this this is everything that is opposed to the spirit of christmas if you think christmas is about love and compassion and giving and kindness this is diametrically opposed to it look at look at this suffering i also want to say out there to the consumers that you know you might be looking at this place and you might go oh this place is terrible why do they, why do they do this to these animals well it's the consumer that are paying for places like this to exist 
The farmers are only meeting a demand and you, you make that demand and you can also boycott that demand and you can put the demand into vegan options, okay? Now I'll leave a Christmas download pack down below where you've got like a good guide where you can get different vegan options from the supermarket. You don't have to pay for this suffering and this exploitation and murder. So in here, you see eyes, like a sea of eyes. Each one of these birds will go and get their throat slashed open so someone can dine on their bodies, so a human being can dine on their bodies. This is what their life is reduced to, the suffering they endure. Walking around, living on their own excrement, just so someone can have a happy holidays. I mean, I can't, I just, I can't think of a more, I just can't think of a more horrible injustice. It's just, it's just not fair. I mean, this is just one shed in one area and one country in the world. This, this is happening all over the world to all types of birds, all types of animals. Humans have no respect for life. Humans have no respect for life. I just can't think of a more horrible injustice. It's just, it's just not fair. So I don't know if someone's out there watching who's eating animals, who's eating turkey this Christmas, but if I can just plead with you right now, like I'm in this shed full of these sentient beings, it smells horrible in here and you can just you can just see the suffering in these animals' eyes. They're like, their existence is so horrible, okay? I'm just trying to reach out to you, the consumer, to boycott these products. Don't, don't, don't pay for this. If you're, if you're against this, if this speaks to your heart and you say that I'm against this type of suffering, this isn't me, I'm against cruelty to animals, I don't want to be that person, then you don't have to be, okay? You can choose to be vegan right now, okay? And you can help put an end to this, okay? Because these places only exist because of you, the person sitting at home watching this, all right? Now, the animals don't care if you say you're against animal cruelty. They care about what you do. Are you paying for them to be in these places? Are you dining on their body parts every single day? You can be one of those people who stand up and say enough is enough. Okay, so this is, here you go. This is a stock standard place in the UK for turkeys. Red tractor approved. I mean, whenever you see that sticker, do not trust it. I mean, I just want everyone at home just to think about it when they go out and buy their turkey, when they're buying chicken, you know, like, don't trust the labels, don't trust the propaganda that they pump out to you. This is re the reality of it. This is the reality of it. You know, bir birds standing around in their own feces and just suffering anemic, you know, ulcerations on their faces and, and you know, pecking injuries and it's just terrible. So when you go into the supermarket, you vote with your dollar. You can either get the plant-based options or you can choose to pay for this cruelty and this suffering. Please just make the right choice. It's the holiday season, the spirit of giving and compassion and spending time with family. Don't be the one to make these birds suffer. Don't be the one to help perpetuate this industry. You know, be on the right side of history and choose vegan. That was like a a thunderstorm. Yeah.